Okay, welcome everybody. We had a few little uh, computer glitches there, but we're, we're on and I wanna welcome everybody to meet the candidate. And I wanna remind everyone that our goal in doing this is simply to get to know each candidate at a, uh, a more personal level and to find out who they really are. And we're gonna do all that in 15 minutes. So anyway, so this is Todd Tenori. And Todd, what place are you running for on city council? Uh, thanks for allowing me to be here today, Lori. I'm running for place six. Excellent. Uh, my first question is very easy. Where were you born and raised? I was born and raised in Monroe, Louisiana, which is a town in North Louisiana. Okay. And what was your very first job? Uh, very first job. My grandfather owned a grocery store in Monroe, Louisiana, and, and uh, I worked in the store helping him when I was 15, 16 years old, pretty much all the way through college. Okay. And do you... Uh, recall knowing what it is that you wanted to be when you grew up? Oh, God. Uh, yeah, I always wanted to be a doctor, truthfully. And uh, I was actually in, it went through college, went through pre-med, and then uh, after four years of college uh, in pre-med, I decided, you know what, I may need to switch over to business. So I switched to business and actually sold pharmaceuticals for a couple of years right out of college. Okay. Um, we know, you know, why don't you tell us what you do today first so I can ask you questions. So tell us what it is that you do today. Okay, I, I actually own a company called Southern Packaging. We're a uh, industrial packaging uh, distributor. Uh, if you walk down a pet food aisle in a grocery store, we manufacture those bags, uh, both paper, plastic. Uh, that's my, my primary business. Uh, my, I have other side, I have other businesses. I own Southern Boat and RV Storage here in Mansfield. And my most expensive hobby I've ever had is I own El Primos here in Mansfield, which is uh, my wife claims that's the most expensive hobby I've ever had. But really enjoy that business. Enjoy working with all the young people. I have about 60 employees in that business. 40 of them are between the ages of 16 and 22. So kind of keeps me young, keeps me on my feet. Okay. What's the, 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 the one thing that is your most favorite thing out of what you do right now? The most favorite thing of what I do, I love working with these young people at Primo's primarily. At my big company at Southern Packaging, the average age of my employees 40 to 50 years old. Uh, there are a lot of industry guys uh, at Primo's just watching these kids develop, bringing these young kids in, trying to work with them through their high school years and, and uh, seeing them go off to college. I have a rule at Primo's when they graduate from college, they get fired at Primo's. I'm like, I'm gonna go get a job. So watching, watching these kids develop has been probably the most favorite thing I do day to day. Okay. Um... What do you do on the weekends? How do you spend your spare time? What do you do for fun? Well, you know, I love to play golf. Uh, you know, I've got four daughters, uh, three grandchildren. So my time's pretty much spent with them. Uh, we, you know, we have a place in Granbury. Uh, uh, we go down to the lake. But with Primo's being open, seven days a week, you know, you'll find me there a lot of weekends trying to help out and, and making sure my managers are all, all doing what they're supposed to be doing. So, but uh, my weekends are pretty busy, pretty much every day of the week. Uh, so usually don't have a hard time finding something to do. <laughs> How would your uh, friends describe you? Uh, that's a good question. Uh, I think they'll tell you that I'm, I'm very loyal. Uh, if I tell you I'm going to do something, I typically do it. Um, they, uh, I've got a lot of really good friends. Uh, that's a tough one, Lori. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, let me, let me give you another one. I 
I would hope they would all respect me and that I lead by example. I mean, I hear that a lot, you know, that I uh, seem to do a pretty good job by leading by example. So uh, at the end of the day, I would, I would hope that's what they would say. Okay. Um, if you could have dinner with four people, living or dead, who would they be? Four people, living or dead. Uh, probably, since I'm a golfer, uh, Arnold Palmer, uh, Jack Nicklaus, that'd be pretty cool to have dinner with those guys. Um, you know, from a, a, a political standpoint, uh, probably uh, 43, Bush 43, seems like an interesting guy, and even his father I thought was very interesting. So probably those four. Okay. All right. So let's say that they were going to do a movie about you. Uh, who would you want to play you in that movie? Probably Kevin Costner. So. Ah. Okay. I think if I put a cowboy hat on, I may look like him a little bit. But... <laughs> and uh, if you could go back in time, where would you travel to? Oh, wow. If I could go back in time, uh, probably back to my hometown, to be honest with you, and, and uh, get to know my the ancestors that were there before me. You know, I was very, very, very fortunate growing up. I had a really, really solid family, a really solid base. So, uh, and obviously that doesn't just happen. I mean, we were a very close knit family. One of the most difficult times in my life is when I graduated from college having to move away. But growing up in a small town, like a lot of us here in Mansfield, we had to move away to get a job. So uh, if I had to go back, that's probably where I'd want to go back to. Okay. Think of a, um, a favorite childhood memory that, um, that you can remember, the very first one that had an impact on your life. Um, even to this day, it still is there and somehow has an impact. Uh, I think more than anything, working with my grandfather at, at a very young age, uh, being a, watching him and my grandmother own and operate a business, uh, it was their life. And growing up as a grandchild and, and working in that, to being around that business as a kid and then being able to work there as a teenager and, and on through college, you know, I think that probably impacted me more than anything. Uh, he taught me how to work, how important it was to work, how important it was to treat people right, do what you say you gotta do. Uh, so looking back, I mean, he probably had a, a, a major impact on my life and, and responsible for where I'm at today, and, and especially in business and how I conduct my family. Do you have a, uh, a motto or a creed that you live by? Uh, yeah, I do. Uh, uh, the only rule is there's no rule. So uh, that's kind of my creed. <laughs> it kind of sounds crazy, but it's really the, uh, uh, I think it's the reason I've been successful in business. I, I don't play by any, any structured rule. Uh, uh, we kind of do what we have to do to, to get the job done. Uh, things change on a daily basis, just like the prime example is what we're dealing with today with COVID. Nobody saw that coming. So you know, if you get too structured, it's very difficult to maneuver. And in business, you, you, you need to be able to maneuver to get to the next step. So. That's kind of my, my rule, you know, the only rule we have is we have no rules, so. Have you, um, and this is on what you just said, I'm just following up with this, but it reminds me there's a book uh, Marcus Buckingham wrote called First Break All the Rules. And they had done a survey of all these phenomenal leaders, managers, and that's what they did. They, they broke the rules. That's why they were good. Yeah. Unfortunately. Sometimes you have to break the rules. It, you know, you, you know, there's the law and then there's the letter of the law. I mean, it, at times you have to make exceptions. So uh, 
it, again, it's worked for me. It, it's I'm I'm one of these guys. I'm close to my employees. I know a lot of employers that keep an arm length distance from their employees. I'm the opposite. Uh, you know, I don't know which is correct. I know what what actually works for me. So uh, we've been very very blessed. I got great people working for me, and and uh, I, I tell you, you know. It's, People ask me, you know, how do you determine if you're going to hire that guy or hire this girl? And in my mind, it's real simple. I always just ask myself a simple question. If this building was on fire, would they come in here and get me out? And if they would, then, then that's who I want working for me. And that's who I want around me in my life. And, and I've been very, very blessed to have that, those types of people in my life. Okay. Well, we made it to our our 15 minute mark. And um, I thank you very much for participating. Uh, we will be doing candidate forums um, in September. So we're just going along this journey, trying to get to know everybody. So thank you very much for participating, Todd. And uh, we look forward to, to doing some more things together. So thanks everybody, appreciate it. Thank you, Lori, appreciate it.